Uh, do you have another witness available? Osri Osimpour. Osri Osimpour. Continuing on with day three, let's see who the next witness is. Ms. Kazri Nazimpur, yes. please come forward. Right into about the middle section here, and then you can face the clerk, raise your right hand. She will administer the oath. The testimony you are about to give this morning shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth shall be Please have a seat in the witness chair. Mr. Smesta. Oh, would you please say your, say your name and spell your name for us, please? <laughs> My name is Gabriella Kazrain Azimpour, and how to spell Kazrain Azimpour is K-H-A-Z-R-A-E-I-N-A-Z-M-P-O-U-R. That's over half the alphabet. How old are you? 25 years old. What do you do for a living? I work as a phlebotomist at Octopharma in Maplewood. Um, where do you live? What town? I live in Centuria, Wisconsin. Um, were you part of, the, of a group of people that were tubing down the Apple River um, back on July 30th of 2022, including the Carlson family? Yes, I was. Do you remember what you had to drink? No, I do not. Uh, do, you remember, do you remember how many drinks you had? If I had to guess, maybe five. Right. And is that five over the course of the day? Yeah, throughout the whole Apple River, tubing down the river. So right. roughly five drinks in a, about a two-hour period. I mean, that's quite a bit of alcohol. At some point, as your group is going down the river... Did you come across a disturbance of some kind? Uh, yes. Uh, what did you see yourself? I saw a group of kids asking for help. Did you know who these kids were? No, I did not. Um, did you, could you figure out why they were asking for help? They said that they were, this guy was sending, saying that he was a pet. They were, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Slow down. We're all, we got time. They were asking for help because he said he was a pedophile. He said that or they said that? They said that. All right. Did your group stop when you came across this disturbance? Not originally, no. It took us a little bit before we did stop. All right. Eventually, you did. Did you stop? Eventually, did your group stop? Yes. Um, did uh, someone from your group go over to uh, this group that was asking for help? Uh, yes. Um, do you know who that was? It was Madison. All right. Did you, uh, what did you see Maddie do? I saw Maddie ask this guy to leave multiple times, and he chose not to. I don't know how many times I've heard these kids say that she asked him to leave. In the video, it certainly does look a lot like screaming and demanding. Choosing our words very carefully, aren't we? Um, did he react to her telling him to leave multiple times? Eventually, yes. Uh, what, did he, what did you see him do? I saw him hit her in the face. All right. Um, at that point, were you on your tube, or were you in the area? Where, where were you located? It's probably in between the tubes of where my group was and then where the where uh, everyone else was dealing with the situation. All right. Do you know about how far away you were uh, when uh, you saw Maddie get hit by the the other person? Maybe from me to you. Did you see uh, what happened to Maddie after she was struck? I saw Dante punch him in the face and he went down. All right. Did you see where Maddie went? I saw Madison was still standing behind, far away from the situation. All right. Um, <laughs> Do you know, or were you close enough to see what hand he used to punch her? His right hand. All right, and did you see what, what part of her face that he uh, struck? This side right here. Okay. You're saying, are you pointing to your right cheek? It would have been her left. Left cheek? Yes. Do you know whether he used a fist or an open hand? Uh, I don't fully remember. All right. Um, after Dante, uh, you said you saw Dante punch the gentleman. Did he fall down? Yes, he did. Um, Eventually, did he get back up? Yes, he did. What did you see him do when he got back up? Um, I don't really remember what I saw. I just blinked, and then everyone was bleeding. All right. Did you see him stab anybody? No, I did not. All right. I'm going to show you a still frame from uh, the video. Are you aware that there was a video taken that day? After the math, yes. All right. Did, did you uh, have you ever seen it? I saw it for the first time on March 18th. All right. So, Gabby, on, 20, on 2993, do you see yourself in that picture somewhere? Yes, I do. Uh, can you explain to us where you're at? I am behind Riley holding the phones. All right. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a green swimsuit. All right. Um, when you say Riley, which person in this picture is Riley? Riley's the one with her mouth open holding the side of her body. All right. Who's the person standing right behind Riley? I have no idea who that is. Was he part of your group? Uh, no. 
All right, Gabby, we're showing you uh, slide 3024 from the video. Do you still see yourself in that video? Yes, I do. Um, is that you in the middle, still in the, the green bikini? Yes, sir. Um, the gentleman that you don't, didn't recognize with the sunglasses, uh, where is he located in relation to you? No relation. I don't know him. I mean, but where is he located? In uh, front of me. Um, who's that directly to his, would be his left? With the swimsuit? Right. That'd be Riley. All right. So this, did, did you see this gentleman walking into the group? Not that I recall, no. All right. But you see him there now? Yes. <clears throat> was he part of the group of children that, or teenagers that had been calling for help? I do not remember. Are you in that frame, if you can tell? I think I'm behind the guy in the black shirt. All right, the black shirt and the sunglasses? Yes. Did, did he appear to be walking up to Mr. Mew? Yes. Do you, do you remember that, or are you just remembering it because it's on the slides? Just because it's on the slides. Right. At the time, did you make a mental note of who is this person? No. I may have already asked you this, but you didn't see Mr. Mew stab anybody? Correct. Um, at some point, did you realize that some people had been stabbed? Yes. Um, was one of those folks Riley Madison? Yes, it was. She came up to me. After? When did she come up to you? Well, I was on the phone with 911. All right. Um, it's, that's my next question. At some point, did you call 911? Yes, I did. While this incident was going on? Yes. Um, when Riley came up to you while you were on the phone with... Uh, uh, 911, what did she look like? She looked like she was having a hard time breathing and was bleeding down the side of her. Did you see where Mr. Mew went after he stabbed these folks? No, I did not. Uh, were you recording anything? No, I was not. Um, did you have your phone out for the purpose of nine, the 911 call? Yes. <clears throat> did you um, see people stop to render aid uh, to folks who were injured? Yes, I did. Sustained. All right. Did you see anybody else stop? Yes. What were they doing? They were helping us with everyone that was bleeding. All right. Gabby, I'm showing you it's a, a zoomed in uh, view of slide 4511. Uh, do you see yourself on that slide? Yes, I do. Uh, whereabouts are you located generally? I'm on the, with the green swimsuit, looks sunburnt like a lobster. All right. Are you to the left or the right of uh, the gentleman in the yellow shirt? I'm not good with my left and rights. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you see a gentleman in a yellow shirt? Yes, I do. Do you see a person that's off to the... I'm behind. Someone who appears to be on the telephone? Yes, that, that's me. All right, is that... What are you doing with the phone at that point? I think I'm on the phone with 911. All right. Do you remember how long you were on the phone with them? No. All right. I don't have any other questions. <clears throat> Officer? Ma'am, in terms of your, your memory of what had happened, uh, tell me if I have this right. You have a recollection of it up until what point what do you mean well i think you said oh. uh you you blanked at some point and have no mem and don't remember what happened after a certain point that day right is that true yes okay do you remember when that was um probably the most i don't remember is when everyone was getting stabbed okay um you do remember Floating and hearing people, I think you said the, the group was saying that he was a pedophile. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And that certainly made you feel a certain way, right? Well, yes. Okay. How did it make you feel? Uncomfortable. Okay. Concerned? Yes. And it got Madison Cohen off of her tube. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. And I think you heard or you, you indicated that Madison asked him to leave multiple times. Is that right? Correct. Okay. You didn't hear Madison attempting to figure out what was going on, right? You just heard her tell him to leave. Is that true? Correct. Okay. And to be fair, if we're being fair, she's yelling at him, isn't she? Yes. Okay. She's swearing at him, isn't she? Yes. Okay. And if we're being fair, she doesn't have any information, to your knowledge, as to what's actually going on. Right? Correct. Okay. So if I said she's jumping to a conclusion, in your mind, is that fair? No, correct, Your Honor. Sustained. You would agree no one in your group had any information as to what actually had happened, right? Correct, yes. Okay. And you don't see or hear Madison Cohen ask Mr. Mew his side of the story, do you? No. 
okay? So she walks up and immediately starts yelling at him to leave. True? Correct. Okay. And you'd agree, she doesn't have any authority to do that, right? Objection. She wouldn't know what authority to pass by that. Sustained relevance. He can be wherever he wants on the river, right? Correct, yes. And she can be wherever she wants. Correct, yes. Okay. And when she's yelling at him and, and telling him, swearing at him to leave, you'd agree he doesn't react in a violent manner, correct? Eventually he does, yes. My question to you is when all of this is, when she's telling him to leave and swearing at him and walks up to him, he doesn't react aggressively, true? Mm. Yes, but he doesn't say anything either to us. What can you say to a huge group of angry, drunk people who want to kill you? Doesn't act aggressively, yes? Yes. Okay. And he doesn't ver he's not verbally aggressive either, right? He doesn't say anything. So that would be not being verbally aggressive, right? Correct. Okay. And you know there's six people, six of these people that are asking for your assistance, right? Yes. Okay. And then so more of you come over to help, is that right? Yes. Do you see um, Madison wave you guys over? Is that why you come over? Do you see that? No. What do you mean? Uh, there's been testimony and videos and stills of Madison waving, like using her hand like I'm using it now, waving your group over. Okay. Is that why you went over? No, I just followed her. You just followed Madison mm -hmm. over? Okay. Do you get involved right away? No. Do you, Are you jumping to conclusions as to what has happened? No. Come on up. Would you agree that Madison Cohen is in Mr. Mew's face when she's yelling at him? Yes. Okay. And you had said on direct examination that you observed um, Mr. Mew punch her, right? Yes. Okay. And you said that he used his, his right hand and punched her on the left side of her face. Yes. Okay. And that's how you remember it, right? Yes. Okay. You told the police that he smacked her across the face using his left hand, actually, <coughs> though, didn't you? Yes, I did say that. Okay. But that's not what happened. So when you were talking to the police, you weren't telling them the truth? No, I was. It was just, there was a lot that was going on. Have you been watching this case? No. Okay. So do you have a specific recollection now, 21 months later, that Mr. Mew didn't hit her with his left hand, but hit her with his right hand? Can you rephrase the sentence? I can re-ask it. Yeah. Do you have a, a specific recollection now after 21, about 21 months since this happened, that Mr. Mew didn't use his left hand, but in fact used his right hand? Yes, he used his right hand. Okay. And when you had said that he smacked her across the face, when you told that to the police, is the word smacked uh, and across the face, is that an indication from you that he's using an open hand? Yes. Okay. Um, so when you tell the police that he uses an open left hand, now you're saying he used a closed right hand. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. And you've watched, have you watched this video all the way through? Yes. Okay. So you're aware that when he's stand, when Mr. Mew is standing in front of Madison Cohen, he's holding the knife in his right hand, right? You're aware of that? Yes. Okay. And it's your testimony that holding this knife in her, his right hand, he still punches her in the face with this hand. That's your testimony? Yes. Okay. And that she was holding her left side? Yes. Okay. And you would agree that your statement to the police was she was holding the right side of her face, right? <coughs> I don't remember. Well, if I told you that you indicated... The male suspect smacked Madison across the face using his left hand. Your name, Gabriella, then advised that Madison walked away holding the right side of her face. Uh, very bad with my left and rights. So it could it was with his right hand. 
You sure about that? And how can she be so sure about that when she doesn't know the difference between right and left? What's the deal with all these kids? None of them can tell the difference between right and left? This isn't the first time we've heard this. And I'm going to show you, can you go to 2573? I'm going to show you um, just one or two stills, okay? No, I'm going to tell you, that's, I don't know if you know this. The guy in the yellow shorts is A.J. Martin, right? Yes, it is. Okay, okay and he's walking toward Mr. Mew and toward Madison, right? Is that fair? Maybe. Okay. Not really facing that direction to see. You're standing there just watching what's going on, is that right? Yes. Okay, and if I <coughs> submit to you that this is uh, moments before you're saying this punch occurs, you're not looking at, at what's going on, are you? Not in the picture, no. Okay. And you're holding a telephone? Yes. Are you recording on that telephone? No. Okay. When you walk over there, you know that Mr. Mew's alone, or you believe he's alone, right? Yes. I'm going to show you what's been marked as exhibit, moved actually, as 104. Um, I would submit to you, tell me if this is fair, you believe this is a, a photograph of Madison Cohen and Riley Yes. And this has been uh, introduced into evidence as to the general location of folks um, as this incident was going on. Okay? Okay. I think you are represented by GK there. Okay. Okay. Do you think that's a accurate representation to the best of your knowledge as to when Madison and Riley were in front of Mr. Mew where everyone else was kind of situated. I don't remember where everyone was situated when it happened. Okay. Um, you were off to their, <coughs> off to Madison and Riley's right-hand side though, right? Yes. Okay. And I think you told uh, the state that you are, I don't know the distance here, but you're 15? That you tell me how far how far yeah, away I'm not good at math so I don't know you're a little distance away yes right um, and there's there's 13 of you there's been testimony there's 13 of you when this goes when this happens did you say that's fair yeah okay and the person that you've been asked about meaning the person wearing the black shirt who kind of comes in at the end, who's blocking that picture of you. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. You didn't see him during this incident, did you? No. Okay. To your recollection, he wasn't there to assist, meaning he wasn't present to assist Mr. Mew when this was going down, right? No. Okay. So to the best of your recollection, it was Mr. Mew alone in the situation. True? True. Tell me if this is fair. You remember Dante Carlson punching Mr. Mew in the face? Yes, I do. Okay. And do you remember seeing Mr. Mew fall down? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you recall Dante Carlson smacking Mr. Mew across the face again? No. You don't recall that? No. Okay. Do you recall A.J. Martin pushing Mr. Mew from behind? No. Do you have any recollection after that as to kind of what happened? Like what happened during all of that? Yeah. No. Okay, that's okay. I'm just, I'm not being critical. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting what you know. Okay. okay. Then I don't have any other questions. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. This is a couple judges. Yes. No, I'm afraid. Um, Gabby, that's attorney asked you a lot about uh, which hand he used, what you told police. Can you hear me? Yeah. So regardless of what hand he may have used, do you have any doubt that Mr. Hughes struck Randy? In the face? Oh, he did. Um, the, uh, Mr. Trophy had, had said things to you like he wasn't acting violent when uh, Maddie was telling him to get out of there and swearing at him and such, but then he asked you if you were aware that he was holding the knife when that happened. Yes. Um, did you see him holding the knife? No, I did not. Do you remember this moment in time on the river? Or it looks like Riley's in front of him, looking at him? No, I do not. All right. 
Can you, as we scroll through, I want you to look and see what's in his right hand. Judge, I'm going to object. She has no recollection of it, and the video is the face like, wait. I don't like speaking objections. If you want to talk, come on up and we can talk all you want. Objection is sustained. Let's move on. Did you know he had a knife in his right hand? No, I did not. We're going to continue scrolling through. Eventually, we're going to see you in relation to these folks. And we stopped at 2563. Is that you? Yes. And at that point, is your head turned off to the to where your group is? Yes. Uh, had he punched Maddie yet at that point? Objection, Judge. She doesn't since you didn't. Uh -huh. So, objection. Objection noted in this circumstance overruled. At that point, while your head was turned, did he punch Maddie while your head was turned? No, I saw him punch Maddie. So. Nothing else. Mr. Trophacy? When, this is fair, when he, when you're saying that he struck Maddie, Maddie was in his personal space, yes? Yeah. And I know there was a question about holding the knife. He never threatened anybody with the knife uh, when he pulled it out, right? Yeah, yeah I'm just going to Overruled. You don't have a recollection of him showing that knife and trying to no, I intimidate do not. people with it. No. Anything, do you? Okay. That's all I've been. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ms. Kazri Azampur. You may step down. Uh, please see the coordinator in the back. She'll give you further instructions. Uh, it's a little afternoon. I understand lunch has just arrived, so we're going to break. Wow, now that was a terrible testimony. This girl doesn't know the difference between right and left. She can't do math. She didn't see any of the stabbings. The only thing she seems to know for sure, supposedly, is that Mew hit the blonde girl with his right hand with a closed fist, even though she doesn't know right from left, and she told the police that he slapped her. Also, am I really supposed to believe that this girl wasn't filming this whole interaction? I mean, just look at this shot right here. Does it look like she's not filming? You have to wonder where that video went, huh? There's got to be some reason they don't want us to see it. And before you say... But Mushmouth, you, you don't know that she was filming. Yeah, I do. Have you ever seen any of the millions of high school videos that go viral because someone's in a fight and there are hundreds of kids crowding around, everyone's filming and following the fight around? These kids film everything, especially if there's violence. And I know that's quite an assumption to make, but I'm making it, and I'll tell you why. The oldest of these kids are 25 years old. The year is now 2024. These kids don't even know what it's like to live without a cell phone. And in fact, this girl doesn't know how to do anything other than use her cell phone. If a cell phone doesn't teach it, then this girl doesn't know it. When I was in high school, cell phones existed, but I didn't know anyone who had one other than Flavor Flav. And at home, I got a call from Tony Rome. The FBI was tapping my telephone. And cell phones definitely didn't have cameras on them back then. The prosecution hit the jackpot. They found 13 witnesses who were willing to lie for the greater good. You know, for the culture. So I'm making these videos of the trial. For the culture. So the courtroom is going to lunch. But there are plenty more witnesses to come. And I think even Mew's wife is going to testify, if I'm not mistaken. But real quick, before I go... I don't know if you've heard about the crazy comment moderation that YouTube is up to right now, but comments are disappearing. If you comment on any of these videos and, you're, and it gets deleted, don't blame me. I don't do that. It's YouTube. And if I don't reply to your comment, it probably got deleted. But if you want to know the best way to leave a comment on this channel, just do something like this. This is a perfect example of an acceptable comment by YouTube. So just follow this guy's lead. And while I'm at it, a quick shout out to Eve and Toby. You two kids should thank your lucky stars that you're not growing up here in America. You don't want to know what American kids are up to. So with that, I'm going to move on to the next witness, and I'll see you in the next one. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. Your ass keeps getting thicker too, girl. <laughs>